Previously on Doom 2016. We'll set up a portal device at the tomb. Use the light poles to mark our path. Alright, quick bonus content. If you saw my previous video, I wasn't able to do this particular rune challenge because I had to go back and redo that level because of my recording and stuff like that didn't record properly. So we're going to go ahead and do the rune, new rune trial really quick that we found in the Sanctum level before we jump continue with the, the, with the rest of the story, or what's next in the story. So let's go ahead and jump in and take care of this uh, rune challenge really quick, or trial, whatever you want to call it. Leo was seek and destroy. Use the heavy assault rifle at the weekend and perform death on a level glory kill. Oh, okay, yeah, so this is the one. The reward, seek and destroy. Launch to a glory kill from much farther away. Further, farther, whatever, further. get out of the glory kill state that made no fucking sense really that was a death of a love kill I don't care what anyone said there we go oh, that was done or oh, that was fried to say artificially destroyed you fought your way out of hell and managed to return but now the demons have staked their claim on Mars. You must find a way to shut down the hell portal Olivia created. Hell on Mars. The Argent Tower is destroyed. The portal can no longer be closed from this side. The Hell Energy flows from a location in their world we call the Well. But you've returned. The only flesh and blood to walk between dimensions. <laughs> so there may be a way. Hmm. Vega is trying to access Olivia's files. If you can get to the nearest terminal, we will provide you with information. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Alright, Siege. What's this? So we gotta continue, complete seven rune trials to unlock that, so... The Days and Confuse, that's upgrade, so let's go ahead and work on upgrading... Seek and Destroy. What's it? Glory Kill Set, that's an easy one. 
Alright, now let's see. Challenges. Skeet shoot. Kill a revenant while it is in mid-air. Okay, so I can probably do that one with the lock-on rockets. Close encounters. Kill five demons with the chainsaw. That's an easy one, so I can just kill five fodder demons. Assuming fodder demons count, they should. Knowledge is power. Acquire three data logs. Alright, so there should be a codex right in front of me. The coded entry to a two, the Baron of Hell. It is clear that the barons are ferocious fighters with a bloodlust unparalleled by any other demon. Barons larger and faster than their lesser brothers also possess the ability to generate hell energy, fireballs which can be hurled at a target. In the Doom Project Lazarus Man Expedition MTC 2145-128, it is believed that most of the explorers were set upon by barons of hell. Though the details are unclear, tablets received from the Great Step in the UAC Automated Survey of 2143 <laughs> suggests that the Barons of Hell are the current Royal Guard of the Unknown, Dark Lord of the Fourth Age. While the nature of this entity is unknown, it must be presumed that as the Royal Guard's power has significantly increased, so too has the power of their master. Okay. So yeah, I think the Doom, I mean the Doom, the Barons of Hell and Doom 2016 are like bigger and burlier in uh, this version than in Eternal. I mean, Grant, yes, they're still big in Eternal, but they don't tower like they do in this one. They're just more like stocky. Alright, is there anything else nearby? Okay, so there's a toy. Which I'm assuming... Oh, I'm dead. Or... Okay, I don't know why I didn't die, but... Oh, well, might as well... I don't know how to get back up, so I might as well just go kill myself now, so... Fuck it. That made, uh... Zero sense. I don't know why it just didn't kill me. It's the only thing bad about using the Vulcan drivers, it takes longer to load. But supposedly you're supposed to get um, better, uh, better gameplay, so... There's got to be a way to get up there somewhere, somehow. Uh, what do you- what the hell? What the fuck? Oh, is there a fucking- Oh, it's a Kako demon. I thought it was a fucking- Then why was it- That's weird. Why was I killed by Green Zoo then if it was a fucking Kako demon? That made no sense. I can hear something, like if I was nearby a root challenge. Oh, there's an imp probably gonna meet me up here. Or not. And, oh, never mind. Oh, there's a secret lever. I thought it was a toy up here. Unless the secret lever is just up here, too. I thought there was a... Oh, shit. Okay, so there is a toy. I'm just. Do I go up? No, I don't go up. I go. I'm gonna go here. Right? Well, there's the classic two level. And I believe the toy should be around over here, probably. Okay, so. What level is this? Oh, okay, so this is uh, the... Uh, what is it? Is it the entryway? The first level in... No, wait. The, this is the second level in Doom 2. I forgot what level, what that level is called. It's the second level Doom 2. And then... Toy should be... There it is. I need to take that. Okay. 
Echo Demon model. All right, now let's move forward. Impact compensation. Something else I'm supposed to activate. I don't get, I don't think I can make that. Hold on. What's down here? Yeah, I've been so long since I played this damn game. Where the hell? Am I supposed to freaking go? I mean, do they really expect me to make that move up there? I, like I say, it's been a fucking minute since I played this game. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Nope. I'm dead. Wait. Oh, they just put me back here. Okay. All of you could. All right, so checkpoint. Oh, oh, what the hell? No, it's not checkpoint reach. So, why would I say I reached a checkpoint? Oh, shit. Okay, so. I was kind of heading the right direction. Imps running across the way. They've taken over the facility. Alright, there should be a Praetor Suit token. Down below. Yep, there it is, right there. I don't know why I didn't let me pick that up. there buddy you're not gonna need oh actually that reminds me might as well spend my weapon points that i said i'll do on this uh next run for my last episode uh so let's see uh all right so we charge let's go with faster reload Shots penetrated, penetrate through targets. So yeah, let's go with faster reload. So now we So mastery. Kill multiple demons with a super shotgun blast 30 times. So I can do that with uh fodder demons. That should be an easy one. Alright, now let's go to the Praetor suit. Decrease weapon self damage. Uh, let's see. So that's maxed out. Increase total number of equipment charges. Power extender increases the length of time that a power up will remain active. That's kind of a good one, too. Dexterity. Quick hands. Grab ledges faster. Hot swap. So we'll do do quick hands and we'll do self-preservation all right anything else that's nearby a codex in front of us that was a weird sound whatever that was Decoded entry 303. Calm under pressure. 
Should you find yourself caught in a level 3 demon contamination event, that it is important that you remain calm. A tier 3 advocate wouldn't panic, and neither should you. We have a saying here in the Lazarus Labs, if you want the job, act as if. So stop, think, and act as if you are a tier 3 advocate. Here are the steps you should follow. Attempt to reach an emergency force field safety zone or a bulkhead door. Do not run as some of our trans-dimensional visitors are sensitive to movement. Shut down any volatile equipment you may be using. Should you be unable to escape from the demons, it is important that you don't leave that plasma cutter running where it could damage an important piece of machinery. If there is any obvious escape route and you have powered down your equipment, give yourself over to the demon willingly. Studies have shown that infuriating a demon by running away can cause additional frustration in the predator, and that may result in your body being too badly mutilated for useful po post-mortem study. Simply kneel down, close your eyes, and wait. Remember, you can be as useful in death as you are in life. Oh yeah, this sounds like a normal type government talk right there. It's like, you can be, you can be useful to us, dead or alive. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you're of some use to us. why it's not allowing me to push the button. Error, okay. Oh wait, duh. My crosshair sounds to go this way. Olivia has an artifact in her private lab that we've been studying for years. I believe you can use it to find the answers you seek. It bears your mark. Olivia's personal laboratory is not part of the registered facilities database. Alpha level clearance will be required to locate it. Granted. You can access her Lazarus facility from the north sector of the advanced research complex, about 80 kilometers away. I'll bring the tram power online to take you there, but you'll need a UAC corporate facilities clearance card to activate it. There is a security station nearby. Thank you there, Mr. Vega, for that alpha access. Not sure if my air conditioner took shit or if it just temporarily shut down or stopped. So, turn it off, turn it back on, see what happens. That or just waiting for my room to be at the appropriate temperature for it to kick back on, but I don't think that's the case, so let's see what happens. how it's funny how he hits me with the fireball and yet he's able to challenge to kill the revenant in good air. So I need him to do his fucking and another one. Oh, is it just one one challenge? That's it. Okay, good now I'm worried about what he's doing rockets you know he's gonna get more rockets than this one than he's doing Colonel. Dead. All right, checkpoint. 
so two challenges done. So now we just gotta acquire the other two data logs to complete that. Well, I was streaming Doom 64 before, but yes, I probably should stream the classic Doom. I'll probably do that after when I'm done with this series. Alright, let's see. Um, so clearly, we have to get to the other side somehow. Which I'm assuming uh, there's another way around. There's... Unless something's going to break through that, but I highly doubt it. Which I highly doubt. Yeah, because I don't think there's a way around there. So we'll just keep going for right now. There's a power up down there. I'm assuming we're supposed to eventually make our way down there, or unless we don't need to go down there. working fine now there, Patrick, or what? Those who came before you, and those with whom you serve, all operate in the same world. Alright, so there's a rune challenge. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. In-flight mobility provides a significant increase in control over and air movement after a double jump. Oh, okay. So it's like having a... Uh, I forgot what it's called. And do internal. Collect all 15 hell relics and reach the altar before the... Okay. This one should be kind of an easy one. Well, I mean, that's weird because Crystal was on her laptop earlier. What about if you just switch over to Wi-Fi? Unless that's what you're using, because you should be directly plugged in with the Ethernet cable. Unless you're not. Alright, so upgrade challenge. That one's not done yet. That one's not done yet. So, and then the Praetor Suit token. Stop showing me this stuff. Raider suit token should be below us. Assuming I Yeah. 
pal. Christ, why does it keep showing me the fucking weapons when I hit tab? I just want to see the fucking map. fucking else. No.
Oh, what do you know? A Berserk power-up, which have been useful. Why the fuck I didn't make the first jump the wall like 20 hours ago, but that made zero fucking sense. Alright, so what else is there? More shit that way, more shit fucking that way. Let's go over here first. Those who came before you and those with whom you serve all operate with the same golden mind, the development of a new dawn for mankind. It is by this guiding principle, working together as a team, that we will elevate ourselves to the next point of existence. Up, I'll say this person counter a pinky and what's that? Demon reinstated. somewhat have the back weakness. They just don't tell you about it or express it like they do in Doom Eternal. Alright, so now let's go to this monster's Pinky. The colon entry 102, Pinky. These demonic animals are unnamed by those in Hell. They were collectively named Pinkies. Due to their usual skin pigmentation, when first discovered by the Lazarus Project's tethering operation, MTC 2146-351, their aggressive nature against the living is well documented. Alright, so there's a codex there, an auto map there, and a health station. We don't necessarily need the health station, so I'm not going to waste grabbing that. The auto map. Ah, uh, that's part of our next objective, so before I do that, let's grab this. Decoded entry 203, Samuel Hayden. Before Samuel Hayden died, he completed detailed instructions and designs for a new body, a bionic automated automaton automaton 
with a plasmatronic processing core, a biochemical brain. Samuel instructed that his frontal and temporal lobes were to maintain intact, but the functions of his per perietal and occipital lobes <gasps> were to be bypassed and networked to the plasmatronic core. Samuel's personality, memories, reasoning, and comprehension would be carried over to his new framework, but his perception and calculation would become supercharged, powered by Argent caches, and later by an Argent accumulator. The cybernetic transference was a success. Samuel returned bigger, stronger, and more formidable than before in a three meter tall mechanic mechanoid body. When his decision to choose such a mammoth mechanical physique was questioned, Samuel responded, dictating the future of mankind is dangerous work. You never know when we may need a hero. Stem cells and neural conditioning are agents. Keep this organic matter, specifically his brain. Constantly rejuvenating, he has exist existed for over 130 years now, and it is presumed his lifespan will be indefinite. It is said that his body has long since passed, but it's his soul will live on forever. Hey, what's up there, Fruity? How you doing? All right, I'll try to make sure to stop by your stream so we can hear some of those details as well for your giveaway. But I hope you have a good time. Good. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day at work there, uh, Mr. Fruity. That demon seems to have taken your keycard. You will need to find it. The tram station will not be accessible without proper clearance. Well, no shit, Vega. Okay, maybe... Oh, shit. So let's. So the super shotgun we're still working on. What can we get? Mobile turret. Oh no, we don't have anything for the gauze cannon yet. So let's see. What can we buy for the mobile turret? Rapid deployment. Drastically decrease the transference time. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, not enough. We'll have to wait until the next one. And all right, time to move forward. I don't really use the chain gun gun that much, so, so I always forget that I have it. Really? That should have been a double kill. Oh, fuck.
Oh, there you are. cooling the mole turret mode will no longer stall mastery challenge kill four or more demons during a single turret deploy five times okay so that'll have to be for like fodder demons and then still doing the super shotgun one this one's mastered working on that one that one's mastered that one haven't started yet and that one's mastered okay so yeah so just the super shotgun and the mobile turret for the time being what else is around here? More codexes, and there's some stuff down below. So, 7.30ish, your time. So, uh, Rudy's on the East Coast, right, Crystal? No, Texas, so two hours ahead of us. Authorized exploration into the exclusion zones outside the base is prohibited. Monster, decoder entry 303, Mancubus. Their bizarre physiology can also be their undoing. The putrid skin covering their soft belly is easily pierced. When exposed, their organs will explode violently, showering a sizable area with their revolting and toxic innards. Bot, bot. Demon breach detected. That's one. Turn them over for it. Oh 
Where you at, Mr. Baron, you big fucker? Damn, you got a jump. I'm sure, you're not a, I'm sure you weren't a basketball player in your past life, but you can come pretty fucking far. Two-thirds of the way done. Alright, is there anything hidden in here? No. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I thought he fucking collapsed. God damn it. Alright, so he went that way. That didn't go exactly how I planned it, but whatever. There we go. Halfway done with that mastery challenge. Armors this way. Gotta make sure I can pick the seek and destroy rooms that are just mindlessly just giving away kills. Alright, so here's where we get to the other room challenge. I knew that was that figure the room to get the direct route. Trial. Use, trial. use the combat shotgun to eliminate all targets before the timer is fired. Health levels are critical. Use armor to survive. Armored offense. Glory killing demons drop on that thing. That one is definitely a must have room. Okay, never mind, it still counts. Cool. <laughs> Cause I said with the shotgun, so I... <laughs> I'll take it. It said kill him with the shotgun, so me glory and kill him, I thought I fucked up right there, but I will take that. Fuck it all. Alright, so that rune trial is done, so... Ooh, sweet. Now we can add a third rune now. Alright, so let us... Which one's this one? In flight? Eh, we'll worry about that one last. So we'll do the armored offensive because getting armor during glory kills, that is a must have. So earn 2,500 points of armor. So I'm guessing I have to find a bunch of armor pickups now. So we're almost done with the ammo boost. And we are almost done with, and a little over two thirds of the way done with Seek and Destroy. <laughs> So it sounds like there's another gore nest nearby. That or it's just the demonic sounds that I'm just hearing. I will take this ammo. Of course, it never fucking fails. Every time when I find these ammo boxes, I'm always usually almost full of ammo. There's, there's 
Argent Energy above us. So I'm assuming there has to be a way to get up there. Which I'm assuming I have to go all this away first. Big man, just hang out. I'll deal with you in a minute. Ah, there it is. Oh shit! Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I thought he jumped over here. I was say, okay, I guess he wasn't gonna wait. Fuck me, right? All right. <laughs> yeah, the the combat in this game has a lot of base. Actually, I think there's more base in. This in Doom 2016, there then there isn't the uh, Doom Eternal and Doom Eternal, but yeah, this game does have a lot of base, especially when the fucking demons do like ground slams and stuff like that. So we'll go with help, like always, even though I do everything one at a time. And where are you, bot? Where is that stupid bot at, anyway? get up there I wonder if I have to activate this thing somehow okay so we're gonna have to come back with a yellow key card yellow security limits required shut up bitch fuck your security clearance Set crane. There we go. Seek I like how it says secret found, even though I haven't gotten to it yet. So this is considered a secret, even though I saw the stupid mod bot floating away. All right, so let's go with the god. Let's go with the gauze can and see. Precision bolt. Damn, he just blew that fucking hell nice head clean off. Siege mode. Use the weapon mod button to charge up a powerful beam that penetrates targets. Movement is disabled while using so. Uh, so siege mode is kind of like the destroyer blade, but I think it's more of a straight shot. And the precision bolt, I think, is more just. Oh, we'll go with siege mode. Fuck it. I think Siege Mode is equivalent to like the Destroyer Blade, like in the uh, Ballista Doom Eternal. Okay, yeah, I think it's just a one powerful straight shot. Alright, let's go and look at the Codex. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, oh, right here. Uh, weapons. Gauze Cannon. Dakota Entry 303. The gauze accelerator design has been used by the UAC as the basis for numerous industrial projects over the years, such as the Argen Tower itself, and the ore diggers found in Deimos and Phobos with, a, with a few, uh, few moving parts. The gauze cannon makes a reliable, powerful weapon by accelerating steel fletchets through a magnetized chamber. Extremely high ve velocities can be achieved. The weapon has near-perfect accuracy thanks to the aerodynamic design of the projectiles. Ammunition is cheap and readily available and is designed to maintain its composition when passing through organic material. The gauze cannon has a noticeable kick that must be compensated for by the operator. Damn, it's almost 4 o'clock already. Shit. Alright, so we found that. So now we can move on to this door nest. Uh, 
after a little bit of frustration earlier on my part. Let's see how this works. Ooh, it decimated his ass. Alright, so that's what taste. Entry 202, Cackle Demon. When a Cackle Demon senses the presence of the living, it will hunt them relentlessly until it gets close enough to gnaw on them using an impressive set of mandibles. To aid in the hunt, the Cackle Demon has a psychoactive narcotic bile, which it spews at range. On contact, this bile inhibits the perception of the target and comp compromises movement. The effects wear off after a few moments, which is often enough time for the lumbering beast to get within bite range. So it looks like we met all weapon challenges according to that. Oh, so the Praetor Suit token beneath us. Ah, there's the uh, pinky that has our denied. card. Yellow security limits required. It's funny how we just killed over. You cannot send a team in to retrieve it. I am the head of this corporation. All your work and discoveries here belong to me. He was mine before you even found him. Yep. Olivia. Oh, that should have been a sign to Samuel that Olivia had bad intentions. That she's already telling Samuel that she's that she never should have that he never should have found me access granted oh okay so we're back here all right so then how or is it up here oh there it is thank you sir Alright, so that completes that challenge too, if I remember correctly. Uh, or not challenge, but we found all the elite guards. So there's one more secret missing, and that's the toy. So can we get back up, or do I have to go all the way around? 
Okay, so it looks like I have to go. Ah, that's stupid. Oh, hold on. Wait, never mind. Hold on. Access granted. Maybe. Hold on. Because I don't want to go busting through that door just yet. So, let's go this way first. Because something tells me if I go through that door, that's just going to take us to the end of where we need to go when I want to try and grab this grab this last uh, collectible really quick. Yep, that's everything. Okay, so finally, after two, maybe three levels, finally got 100% again on, on a map. So now let's go ahead and go down y'all. I think I'm almost done there, Patrick, so just hold on a little bit longer. Or not. I wonder if this could be... That was... Again, that's what I get for... Trying to accomplish this challenge. The two bears that spawn. The music still... Yep, there you are. Ready for departure. All right, well, I guess Please be seated. Level. The tram is now ready to depart. The UAC's advanced research complex will be our final destination. Ooh. All right, well, how are we doing on the rooms? Almost done with the ammo. Seek and destroy. And the armor one's going to take a minute. Next time on Doom 2016! Oh, missed that one up. Missed that one up again. Alright, so apparently you have to be directly behind them, which is stupid, instead of just off to the side of them. Equipment, but I don't know why I didn't wear it the first time. Enough applicants and our faith is nothing without believers. We cannot conduct our work without them. And what kind of work is it that you're doing, Olivia? I haven't seen a report from your team in months now, have I? Can I trust that you can maintain your distance and control of the situation? Of course. I believe in our work, but in order to make progress, we will have to make even greater sacrifices. This isn't progress, it's madness. The board understands the peculiar nature of your work and no one is in the dark on what those sacrifices mean to mankind. But your judgment is no longer considered sound. Tether activation. The system update. It is a prototype of our interdimensional tether. A means for me to pull you back from hell. I'm sorry for the <clears throat> jolt, but I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I have supplies in my office. 